bullet marks on the walls and a glimpse of the teams still searching for bodies inside Garissa's university. Day three, and some relatives here continue to wait for news outside the gates, the campus sealed off. But suddenly we're told a new survivor has been found and has been rushed to this local hospital. 19-year-old Cynthia Tirotic is dehydrated. She's had nothing but body lotion to drink for two days. Even they were shooting everywhere. She tells me how her roommates were found by the attackers, but she squeezed into a cupboard. And then now I put the, the clothes above me and then, and then I start now sleeping. So you covered yourself in clothes to hide? Outside, the gunmen were busy killing non-Muslim students. By Thursday night, the siege was over, but it wasn't until this morning that Cynthia emerged. I was found by, the, by this police. At first she was too scared to move. They had to bring a teacher in to convince her it was safe. Quite why it took so long to find her is another matter. As the investigation itself continues here, there is growing criticism of the way the siege itself was handled. The fact that it took Kenyan police, then military, an entire day to eliminate just four gunmen.